Hello all, welcome to the ANSYS tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to perform the 1D static structural analysis for an axial bar. Since this is my first tutorial in performing the 1D structural analysis using workbench, I have chosen a simple model. So here, this is an axial bar of uniform cross section. It's a circular bar of diameter 16 mm. The length of the bar is 500 mm. It is fixed at one end and it is subjected to an axial force of 12 kN at the other end. The material properties are given, the Young's modulus and the Poisson ratio is given and we are going to find out the displacement and the stress developed. First open ANSYS workbench. In the left side you can see toolbox and in the toolbox you can see various types of analysis systems. In this exercise, we are going to perform the static structural analysis. So you can click the static structural analysis, you can drag it and you can drop it here. So in the static structural analysis, you can see various steps starting from engineering data. So in the engineering data step, we are going to define the material property and in the geometry, we are going to draw the geometry. In the model, we are going to uh, generate the mesh and in the setup, we are going to apply the boundary conditions and finally we are going to solve the problem and we are going to take the results. So first I am going to start with engineering data. So you can right click on the engineering data and you can click edit. Initially the predefined material is static structural. Here I am going to define a new material. So I am going to type material 1, click enter and you can see a question mark here. This is because of I haven't specified the nature of the material. Okay. So in the left side you can see various material properties and uh, in this exercise I am going to consider a linear elastic that is isotropic elastic material. So you can click the isotropic elastic material, drag it and you can drop it here. Now you can see here we need to provide two inputs, one is Young's modulus and the another one is Poisson ratio. The Young's modulus is given as 210 into e power 9 and the Poisson ratio is 0 0.3. You can type the values and you can click enter. Now again you can go to the project. Now you can see a tick mark here. Next I am going to create uh, the geometry. So right click on the geometry. So you can create geometry using two options. One is design modeler and the another one is space climb. Here I am going to use the design modeler. So you can click on the design modeler. Here you can see three different planes. XY, zx and yx. So here I am going to choose xy plane. You can right click on that and you can select look at so that you can view it in the normal direction. So you can use the scroll button for zoom in and zoom out and you can click control and use the scroll button for moving. Now I am going to model, go to sketching, select line. So here you can see various sketching tools. In this exercise I am going to draw line so you can select line and uh, you can move it to the center so you can uh, see that the cursor automatically picks the center so you can click that and you can draw a horizontal line next i'm going to mark the dimensions go to dimensions and uh, in that select general so click and drag it here so the value of h1 is in meter so if you want to change this then you can go to units and you can change this to millimeter now the value of h1 is 500 mm so if you want to zoom in you can use the scroll button you can click the control and uh, click the scroll button to move and you can click the scroll button to rotate and to view it in the normal direction you can select the xy plane okay Fine. So now I have created a sketch. Next I am going to generate a line from the sketch. So you can go to concept, line from sketches and select this line and click apply. So now I have created a line. Next I am going to define the cross section, go to concept, cross section. Before that you have to generate so after each step you have to click generate to complete the operation 
then go to concept cross section and the cross section is circular and the radius is 16 divided by 2 because the diameter is 16 okay you can click generate now you can click this plus symbol and select this line body and go to cross section and select circular 1 and click generate okay so you can see this is our model so if you view the cross section then go to view and select cross section solids and you can visualize the cross section you can see that okay now click generate and close this next i am going to model it select the model click edit first i am going to choose the material so in the line body you can see that the material is predefined as structural steel so you can click this arrow and you can change it to material one then right click on the mesh and click generate mesh so this option will discretize the overall structure into small small elements you can see that so if you want to refine the mesh then you can go to sizing and you can choose fine or medium or coarse mesh next i am going to apply the boundary conditions click the static structural so this bar is fixed at the left end so choose fixed and you have to fix this vertex so you can see that to select the vertex then you can select this option to pick the edge you can fix this option so here i am going to choose the vertex and i am going to select this vertex then click apply okay. next at the right side i am going to apply an axial load so you can go to force and click this uh, vertex so you if you can't uh, view this geometry properly then you can go to display and you can select cross sections okay then again go to environment and i am selecting this vertex click apply and in force we have two types one is vector and another one is components and in components i can apply the force in three directions so here i am going to apply the force in positive x direction so in the x direction i am going to apply 12 kilo newton force you can uh, see the arrow mark okay then you can click solve okay fine next i am going to view the result so for that uh, right click on the solution and you can insert what kind of results you need so here i am going to select beam tool so in beam tool the direct stresses minimum stresses and maximum combined stresses are predefined further if you want to add anything then you can add it so here i am going to add the deformation so i am going to add total deformation along with the beam tool okay so right click on the solution and select evaluate all results now you can click the total deformation okay. so the maximum deformation you can see this it is 3.5 into e power minus 5 meter okay so the red color denotes the maximum and uh, the blue color denotes the minimum similarly you can go to maximum combined stress so this is the maximum combined stress value and uh, this is the minimum combined stress and again this is the direct stress so the stress throughout the section is same because this is a single body subjected to a single force so the stress will be uniform throughout the section if you want to save these results then uh, you can go to images then you can select image to file and i am going to select deformation as the file name then you can save this if you want to animate this then you can click play here and you can see the animation 